جئنا إلى الدنيا كي ندعو إلى الله لننشر الخير في الكون الذي حال الله الله Very sacred, very important. It's the whole basis of the Muslim society, brotherhood. And when there's no brotherhood, believe it, there is no substance among the Muslims. No substance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds you and me that whatever good happens, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if something else happens, this is from our own hands. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has ordered you and I to enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong. And when we cease to do that, we don't enjoin the right, we don't enjoin, uh, enjoin the, we don't enjoin the right, we don't forbid the wrong, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that He will visit us a calamity from Himself. So that when the calamity happens or you are punished and the musibah comes upon you and you call upon Allah, He will not answer. What do the Muslims of today expect? Of the Muslim is the most important part of the Muslim. Not what he or she says. Not only what he or she wears. Not where they come from or who their mother or father is or grandfather. Not the country they live in or for that matter if they live next to the Kaaba is not important at all. It is the character because the character is the actual fruit. First principle and characteristics of Dawah is that the Da'i has to have knowledge. Not just ambition. Not just emotional drive. And not just a reaction to some insult that somebody has said. And not just a feeling to want to give dawah because you know it's an obligation. All those things are good and it's all necessary. But without knowledge, what are you going to do? But always show your composure and your willingness to talk to anybody. Because why? You put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the very beginning. The Messenger of Allah said, Allah, He didn't have all the answers. But he put his trust upon Allah. Allah says to him, فَتَوَكَّلُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ All homicides are committed every 19 minutes. And two rapes are committed every 7 minutes. And there are three robberies every 59 seconds. There are 257,000 children that are legally or illegally aborted. That is, 257,000 children are killed in the womb by license. 21 million children are born every year out of wedlock who do not know their mothers and fathers or who do not know whom they are fathered by. 2.8 million suicides every year of human beings who find no reason to live. With these kinds of social problems inside of their own boundaries, inside of their own governments, in their own institutions, how can they bring peace to the world? It doesn't make sense. The miracle of the Quran is that there is no question a human being can ask about life. Any aspect of life, but the Quran has given the answer. Not only has the Quran given an answer, but the Quran has directed us towards an example that illustrates for us that example, that 
that answer. Our identity and our legacy includes and inevitably leads to the establishment of the legitimate and genuine Islamic government with its khilaf. And those of you who are afraid to say that, you need to ask yourself, what kind of Muslim am I? That we have to whisper to each other that Islam is a government. That we have to whisper to each other that the Islamic government is chaired and led by a khilafah that is a world global authority. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, yes, definitely. Who? Who is better? Who is more excellent than the one that calls towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Not just calling, not just shouting, not just arguing. But they are acting upon what they are calling. They are setting a precedent for what they are calling too. They have established a behavior, a paradigm, an example to what they are calling to. And they openly say, announce, I am Muslim. Oh Muslims, I want to talk about this issue. I want to talk today about the pathology. The present of the Muslim Ummah. And don't think about Iraq. Don't think about Palestine. Don't think about Iran. Don't think about Afghanistan. Don't think about Kashmir. Don't think like that. Because the world of Islam, the Ummah, starts right here. Straighten out yourself. Straighten out your family. Straighten out your neighborhood. Straighten out your society. Don't be worried about the rest of the world. Look at yourself. Make an analysis of yourself. And what you see in yourself, that's your children. What you see in your children and yourselves, that's your wife. What you have neglected in your wife, you see it in your children. And what you have neglected in yourself, that's what you neglected in your wives and your daughters. The evidence of your iman and the evidence of your neglect is your children and your wives and look at your condition.